Welcome to Attribute Breakdown. I am the Custard Prophet. So here we are shoving our collective faces into the rabbit hole of player attributes in the Football Manager game series. You know what I mean. Those physical, mental and technical attributes which determine a player's ability, right? No? Well, great, then you are in the right place. Uh, in each of these episodes, we are going to be exploring one single attribute. In short videos, we will examine what exactly that attribute is describing and how it links with other player attributes to make a player better or worse. If that sounds like something you might like to see a little bit more of, then please hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of this series. Now, in today's episode, we are going to focus on a physical attribute, balance. So what do we mean by balance? Uh, well, well, I guess you'll be surprised that it's not solely the ability to put a load of books on your head. Or maybe you won't be. Let's, let's just say there's a little bit more to it than that. In Football Manager, balance refers to the ability of a player to remain on their feet and in control of their actions. So, for example, if they're switching direction whilst dribbling or alternatively when being jostled by the opposition whilst on the ball, it can be thought of as the ability of a player to withstand force. Since football is a contact sport, you can therefore imagine that balance is a pretty important attribute wherever you are on the pitch. However, in some positions, it is a little bit more important than others. Balance links well with other player attributes, including strength, pace, and agility. This combination of attributes is perfect for a winger or a striker, allowing them to stay on their feet when running with the ball and helping them put in a decent cross or shot when under pressure. You can imagine that in such circumstances that a high level of strength will bolster the balanced attribute, making the player more able to withstand extreme pressure from a defender. A great example of this in FM21 is Mohamed Salah, who has a balance of 18, an agility of 16, pace of 18 and a strength of 16. He is an absolute beast and these attributes are critical to his success. We've spoken about balance being important for wingers and strikers, but it's also an important attribute for playmakers. It's of particular importance for those playmaking roles which do not require much movement on the pitch. Uh, these include things like a deep line playmaker or, or an unganche, since they will be required to use their balance to counter the pressing of opposition players more. There is a really nice post on this, which I'll link below, uh, looking at the importance of balance in these various roles. Uh, and it also suggests that balance is the key attribute if you're wanting to try and play total football. Finally, the balance attribute can be also can be improved in training, either via individual or group training. Resistance training has the biggest effect on balance, with physical and overall training also able to improve the attribute, but to a lesser degree. No other training session is able to improve balance. So if you're wanting to improve the balance of your team, I'd suggest including resistance training in your schedule. Okay, that's balance. Uh, it's not all books on your head and spreadsheets. I hope you've enjoyed this guide and it's been helpful to you. Uh, if so, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. We've got loads more of these um, guides coming up over the next few weeks. Please comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on the balance attribute and also which player attribute should we be looking at next week. That's all from me. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.